In this video, we'll take a detailed look at the new cleanup feature of iOS 18.1 and see how effective it is when it comes to removing unwanted objects from an image. The cleanup tool is a new feature that can be found inside the Photos app. This new feature uses Apple Intelligence to identify background objects and remove them for the user. The feature is currently in beta testing and is part of the iOS 18.1 beta. It will be rolled out to all users when iOS 18.1 is released for public sometime in October. To use the feature, you have to launch the Photos app and open the photo that you want to remove objects from. Then you have to tap on this edit button from the bottom. Next, tap on the cleanup option. When you tap on the cleanup button for the first time, iOS will download the cleanup tool from the web. After the tool is ready to use, you can simply draw on the objects that you want to remove or make a circle around them. As soon as you do this, iOS will instantly remove that object from your photo. As you can see here, the cleanup tool has done a pretty good job at removing the subject from the background. You can use this feature to remove any object, people, pets, etc. from your photos. Now that we have removed all the background subjects, let's remove the main subject from this photo and see how this tool performs. It didn't quite work in our first attempt. Let's try that one more time. And as you can see, we were able to remove the subject from our photo in our second attempt. The tool did an impressive job at removing all the subjects from the photo. Now let's try this tool with another photo. In this photo, let's remove this person who is standing in the back. Now these are not my photos, I have downloaded them from the web. We will simply draw a circle around the person and see how well this tool removes him. As you can see, it has done quite a nice job when it comes to removing the person. Although if you zoom in the photo, you can tell that uh, editing job has been done on this photo. Once you are done editing, you can tap on the done button from the top to save the photo. You can also tap on the reset button in order to restore your photo to its original state. Now let's try the cleanup tool on this photo. Let's try to remove this person. And as you can see, the tool has done a really impressive job at cleaning the image and given us a nice and clean image that we can use for any purpose. Now in this photo, we are going to attempt to remove all of these boards from the photo. To remove them, all we have to do is draw a circle around them. Until now, the tool has done a really nice job at removing the boards. Let's remove the last one. Okay, so it has left some parts of the board. What we're going to do is draw another circle and as you can see, the board has completely been removed from the image. All in all, I'm very impressed with the cleanup tool and how it takes advantage of Apple intelligence to clean up images for the user so far. While there are plenty of third-party apps that let you do this, having this feature built right into the Photos app is convenient. Another great thing about this feature is that it lets you revert your changes and return your photo to its original state at a later time. Now we are going to clean up another image. This one is a little tricky with a lot of background subjects and big objects. Let's attempt to remove this whole car from the image and see how the feature performs. As you can see, the car has completely disappeared from the image. Let's remove these people as well. The cleanup feature has done a decent job at removing people and the car. It has completely failed to fill the cleaned area in a proper way, leaving the image distorted. Anyone who looks at this image can easily tell that this image has been cleaned up, which is not a great thing. As the cleanup feature is still in beta, we hope that its performance will improve in the upcoming updates of iOS and it can deal with such issues in a better way. So this was our early look at the cleanup feature of iOS 18.1. What do you think about this feature's performance? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iOS 18 videos.